Hello and welcome to another Drupal Easy screencast. My name is Mike Anello, and today we're going to be doing a walkthrough from the Drupal Career Online program. Um, this is from lesson five from the layout lesson, um, and this is going to be the page manager module walkthrough. So I have the handout open right here, so I'm going to go ahead and kind of do this step by step. Uh, I've got a site that I've kind of already prepped, so let me go over the prep that's required for this lesson. Um, if we go up under the materials section, we need a, you know, a new-ish composer-based Drupal 8 site with the following. Um, the Devel module, which I have enabled already. You can see the Devel generate stuff down here, so that's already done. Um, we need a movie content type with a title, description, poster image, year release, box office, gross. So I've already done that as well. So here's our movie content type with our title field that you know we get for free with content types, box office gross, description, poster image, year of release. You'll note the description is different than the body field. I actually ask you to delete the body field and then a recreate a description field. Um, that's just formatted along without the summary. Um, and then go ahead and use the Devel Generate module to generate um, 50 nodes of type movie and type article. So those are all here as well. So we got plenty of article and movie nodes in here. Um, the last step is of, of setup at least is a view of movies, a single page display, a path of movies, and a movies link in the main navigation. And anything I don't specify is completely up to you. So I, I here's what I did. Go to go to views. Here's my movies view. The path is slash movies, and I've added it to the um, main navigation menu. I'm just having, you know, it's pretty much the default um, values here. So a list of teasers of published movie nodes. So nothing super fancy there at all. So that's the setup for this walkthrough and the other walkthroughs in this layout lesson. Um, obviously this is all on Drupal 8. So let's go ahead and kind of get going with the, um, with the walkthrough. Um, for page manager, what we're going to do is we're actually going to create a um, a page that overrides. Let's go to a movie here. Here's a movie that overrides the default no display page for a movie. Um, and then in this example, what we're going to do is we're going to make it so if you are an anonymous user, you cannot view um, this page. It's going to show you access denied. So if we are, if we copy this over to an incognito window, paste that in. Right now we can see it. When we're done, it's going to be access denied if you're anonymous, not logged in. And it's going to remain the same if you are logged in, like we are. So that is the goal. So the first thing we want to do is we need to enable some modules. So we're going to come over here and we're just going to do a drush en-y page manager UI module, that'll get the page manager module as well, and see tools. And you can see we're going to get page manager UI, see tools, and page, man page manager enabled. So there we go. So that was step one right here. So let's go ahead and reload our site. So that when we go to structure, we should have a new pages um, option here in the structure menu. So we'll click on this, and that was step two. All right, so as of the recording of this video, uh, early November 2017, I found in some installations, I can't narrow it down exactly to why it happens in some and not in others. Um, in, in some, and we'll just try it here, I'm pretty sure if I just edit this and hit save, it's gonna give me an error. Yeah, I, I don't know why this is happening. Um, I did find it as an issue on Drupal.org. Other people are seeing it too, but we've had students come through the class who don't get bit by this. So the workaround for this is rather than fighting with that, we're just going to delete it and recreate it. So we're going to go ahead and delete it so that we have no pages. And um, this workaround is all right here in this little section right here. Um, so we're going to add a new page. Pretty much exactly the same as one we just deleted. So I'm going to call it node view. The path is going to be at slash node slash curly brace node. 
Um, this is basically an argument for the node. Um, if you look at the URL, we have node slash 95. For this particular node, that 95 is going to be passing via this argument um, so that the, the page manager has access to everything about that node. Um, so the path, the variant type, we're going to leave at HTTP status code and optional features are none. So just like this is fine and hit next. So now because we put in that curly brace node on the previous step, that's called a page parameter. So we have to basically um, tell page manager what that variable, um, what to expect for that variable. So we're going to go ahead and edit this and we're going to call this node. And really, this is exactly what the, um, the one we just deleted does, does the exact same thing. So we're just basically recreating it. Um, so we're basically telling page manager to expect content. You know, that node ID that's being passed in is going to refer to some content. And we're just going to call it node because that's what it is. All right. And so that was this step right here. And then we're just going to take the rest of the default values and save the page. And finish. And if we go back to pages here, we're kind of at the same place we were before we deleted um, the original one, but this one should work. So that's a little bit of, that's the little workaround. Uh, but now we're actually going to get to work. What we want to do is we want to make it so that when um, an anonymous user visits, um, you know, this path, so slash node slash, you know, some node ID, uh, modify that so when an anonymous user hits that page and they try to access nodes of type article they get an access denied so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new variant that checks for those conditions if those conditions are met we're going to give them an access denied so how do we do that well we come back and we edit our template our node view template not really a template but our node view page maybe a better word um, the variant was set up in the original step, so we have that. So if we click on uh, HTTP status code, um, we can see the various um, subcategory configuration sections for our variant. We can click on general. We're going to go ahead and change the label to be a bit more descriptive, and I'm just going to copy and paste this from the handout. Now, so the label for this variant, this variant is basically going to make it so uh, anonymous users accessing articles get access denied. So this variant is going to return an access denied. Where's that 401? There we go. Unauthorized. And let's go ahead and hit save. So that was this step four right here, or 4A. And then 4B, we have to do the selection criteria because right now, this variant is going to be used by everybody, meaning. I believe I saved it. Yes, it's saved. So when someone tries to access this path, they're going to get this variant because there's no selection criteria. Everybody is going to get this variant. So anonymous users get the variant. But unfortunately, also authenticated users get this variant. So that's not good. We only want this for um, anonymous users when you're visiting, when they're visiting nodes of type uh, article. So that's where selection criteria come in. Under what criteria is this variant um, used? So we come here and we're going to add a couple of conditions. The first one's going to be by content type because we only want this to be used when the user is accessing nodes of type article. All right, so that's the first condition. The second condition is going to be by user role because we only want users with the, uh, who are anonymous to um, get this variant. So now we have two selection criteria, anonymous users trying to access nodes of type article. When these two conditions are met, then this variant is used and they're gonna get a 401 unauthorized status code. So we can go ahead and save or update and save, same thing. Everything looks to be saved. So if we come over to our authenticated user, everything should be fine, which it is. Um, if we just double check on movies as well, there should, no, should be no change here. Very good. And I'm going to put this on the clipboard just for a second. But let's check um, an article node 
here on our anonymous user. So, uh oh, looks like we must have made a mistake. Hmm. Anonymous user. Well, let's make sure that this is actually a. Oops. Oh, that's a movie node. <laughs> that's why it's not. So it's actually kind of working because this is a movie node and anonymous users are allowed to see movie nodes. We actually want to see, scared me for a second. We actually want to look at an article node. So here's an article node. So um, authenticated users can absolutely see this article node and this should now be unauthorized for anonymous users. So. They can still, anonymous users can still see movies. We see the year of release, but they can no longer see article notes like this. Alrighty, I believe that completes this walkthrough of uh, the page manager module. Thank you.